I want to ask for the help of two young female saints, powerhouses of prayer, for their help with this meditation and to help us understand Our Lady of the Rosary and how to pray the Rosary every day. Before the final apparition in Fatima on the 13th of October 1917, Our Lady spoke to the three seers and told them that she was the Lady of the Rosary. It was then, as Our Lady of the Rosary, that she granted the miracle of the sun in front of over 70,000 people. Our Lady also asked for a chapel to be built there in her honour. Contrast this with the first of the young saints whom I invoke. As the relics of Saint Bernadette visit our country and the faithful travel to them on pilgrimage as if to Lourdes, we can reflect upon Our Lady's first, not last, visit to this frail girl. On Thursday 11th of February 1858, Bernadette set out to gather firewood. The girls arrived at the grotto of Massabie. Bernadette bent down to remove her footwear. As she did so, she heard a noise like a gust of wind. The noise repeated. As she looked up at the grotto, she saw the branches of a wild rose bush moving. Out of the darkness of the cave appeared a light, followed by a beautiful girl dressed in white who smiled and beckoned her. Bernadette rubbed her eyes, but the smiling girl did not disappear. Deciding to reach into her apron for her rosary, Bernadette became afraid and her hand fell. The vision made the sign of the cross. Bernadette copied her and all fear vanished. She knelt and said the rosary as the lady silently fingered her rosary beads, mouthing the words. When the vision signed for her to approach, Bernadette did not dare and the beautiful girl dressed in white disappeared. The same Our Lady, the Immaculate Conception, asks again for a chapel to honour her and shows us how to pray the rosary with her. The second young saint is our feast day today, Saint Therese. It is providential that her feast day begins at the start of this month dedicated to the Holy Rosary. At the age of about 10, the young Saint Therese suffered from a mysterious illness causing convulsions, fever and hallucinations. She was also mourning the death of her beloved mother and missed her sister Pauline who had entered Carmel at Lisieux. This is her own account. I was suffering very much from this forced and inexplicable struggle. Turning to the Blessed Virgin and praying with fervour of a mother begging for the life of her child. All of a sudden the Blessed Virgin appeared, beautiful to me. So beautiful that never had I seen anything so attractive. Her face was suffused with an ineffable benevolence and tenderness. But what penetrated to the very depths of my soul was the ravishing smile of the Blessed Virgin. At that instant all my pain disappeared and two large tears glistened on my eyelashes and flowed down my cheeks silently, but they were tears of unmixed joy. Ah, I thought, the Blessed Virgin smiled at me. How happy I am. Our Lady smiles a lot. Here in this healing apparition of two St Therese, Our Lady came to her as the statue in her room of Our Lady of Victories. But due to Saint Therese's experience, the same image is also known as Our Lady of the Smile. No wonder at her religious profession, she took the name of the Child Jesus and the Holy Face. A few years ago, I had an experience that someone had um, while in Lourdes. I heard of it, they told it to me. They were asleep in the hotel during the night they woke suddenly and saw visions in the night within the room. They saw frightful things and then a beautiful female face 
appeared a few inches away from their own. The spiritual face was alive, moving, looking directly at them, blinking, and yet expressionless. The recipient, panicked and fearing he was close to death and unprepared for such a mystical vision, asked what he should do. Go to confession? Nothing. Go to the baths? No response. Go to mass? Just a blink. He tried to reach for his rosary, but was unable to. So he asked, pray the rosary? A beautiful smile generated from the face of the mystical woman. The rosary was now within reach. It was an invitation to a life of prayer with Mary to combat the terrors of the night and the assaults of the enemy in life. As the psalmist says, as for me in my justice I shall see your face and be filled when I awake with the sight of your glory. Our Lady smiles when we pray the rosary and we want to make Our Lady smile. The Blessed Virgin and her son have asked us to practice the first five Saturdays for sins and offences committed against her Immaculate Heart. But she has also asked us to pray the rosary every day for the conversion of sinners and for peace in the world, to pray for the end of this war. We want to please her and to make her smile by doing this. Even if we are able to pray the rosary every day, we may feel that our attempt is weak, distracted or even rushed. We are not alone. Here is another's struggle. They say, when alone, and I am ashamed to admit this, the recitation of the rosary is more difficult for me than the wearing of an instrument of penance. I feel I have said this so poorly. I force myself in vain to meditate on the mysteries of the rosary. I don't succeed in fixing my mind on them. Who is this mystical and mysterious person who struggles with the rosary? This is none other than Saint Therese herself, doctor of the church, the one who describes prayer so beautifully as an aspiration of the heart, a simple glance directed to heaven, a cry of gratitude and love in the midst of trial as well as joy, something great, supernatural, which expands my soul and unites me to Jesus. She struggled with the rosary despite her love of Jesus and of prayer. But Saint Therese also comes to our help as well as sharing our struggles. She knew that Mary was her mother and that she was loved by her as a child. She says, For a long time I was desolate about this lack of devotion which astonished me. For I love the Blessed Virgin so much that it should be easy for me to recite in her honour prayers which are so pleasing to her. Now I am less desolate. I think that the Queen of Heaven, since she is my mother, must see my good will, and she is satisfied with it. Like a mother seeing their child try and keep trying every day to please her, it is enough. So it is for Mary to see our good will. Despite the frailty, mixed motives, distractions and speed, there is nothing to prove. Only to make a daily offering, to pray the Holy Rosary, to please her and to make Our Lady smile. As we have all witnessed the extraordinary events that were prompted by the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, where the queue of people wrapping themselves around the streets of London and the banks of the River Thames, we can plead with the Queen of Heaven that we can pick up our rosaries and wrap the beads around our fingers to plead daily for sinners and for peace. In so doing, may it enchain our ancient enemy and ruin of souls. May we please the Queen of Heaven, Our Lady of the Rosary, as we pray with her and the beads pass silently through her fingers. We don't hear her voice, 
but we see her smile. O Mary, Mother of Jesus, our gentle Mother too, with a visible and radiant smile you consoled and cured your beloved child, Saint Therese of the child Jesus and the holy face. We ask you now to smile on us amid the troubles of our lives. May your gentle smile bring light and healing to the darkness and disease of our body, mind and spirit. Instill in us the hope and deepen our faith so that we enjoy forever your maternal, enrapturing smile in heaven. Our Lady of Fatima, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Francisco and Saint Jacinta, pray for us. Saint Therese, pray for us. Saint Bernadette, pray for us. Servant of God, Sister Lucia, pray for us. Saints Michael, Gabriel and Raphael, pray for us. Ave Maria.